Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we are going to look at a very important thing that is referencing and citations. And these two are very important when you are writing an article, whether it be a research article or a review article. So I'm gonna give you two different ways. One is a web-based way, and the second one is a software dependent way by which you can, you know, you can put in your citations in your document the way you want. So, and the cool thing about this is both the ways are absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything. All you need to do is know the uh, title of the paper and from where it is coming. So that's it. And let's jump in the computer and see what is it all about. So first of all, if I open up this paper and I was a part of this paper so you can see this is the title these are the authors and then there is this abstract and then you start writing the paper and inside the text inside the document you will have these short uh, you know short uh, texts in brackets which are the citations you'll have a lot of citations throughout the document and these are the citations which is ref from where this line or this information is being referred to. And you put the citations inside the text. So this is called the inline citation. And there is a bibliographic citations or bibliographic reference that you need to give at the end regarding this inline text that you're giving over here. So if I go over here and go to references, then you can see that all the citations are referred from these papers and these are there in the references. And the references over here in this paper, they are arranged in alphabetical order. And that is absolutely optional. That depends on the journal that you're writing the paper for. So there would be some guidelines for the journals of what kind of referencing you need to do, whether it's going to be an APA style of referencing, whether it's going to be an MLA style of referencing or Harvard style of referencing. So that is actually up to the journal for, uh, for which you are writing the paper. So I'm not going to go into the details of the different styles of citations. I'm going to go into the detail of how you can cite this using the softwares and the tools. So that was that for what is the citation. Now let's jump into the tools. So first of all, over here in this Word document, I have this little bit of dummy text, which I'm gonna use as a reference. And I'm gonna put some inline citations over here, and I'm gonna put the bibliographic citations over, uh, over at the end after the text is completed. So the first method, like I said, is the web-based method where you need to go to a website called Cite This For Me. So once you hit Cite This For Me in Google, you'll have this site, citethisforme.com. You go in there. And over here, you have the different kinds of references or the referencing style that you need. So first, you need to select the style of referencing. So let's go with Harvard. And over here, it is going to ask you whether you want to uh, reference a website, a journal, a book, or something else. So I'm going to say journal. And next, it is going to ask you for either the title of the journal or the title of the article or the DOI number of the article. So let me go into PubMed. And if I search for any article, uh, let's say I search for an article for coronavirus. And these are the different articles that comes into my view. And once you enter an article, you can see over here, it is this number that it is asking for, the DOI number. Or you can just copy the name of the article or the title of the article. You can just copy it and paste it over here. 
Now it is asking the DOI number because the DOI number is very unique for every article. Uh, no two articles are going to have the same DOI number. So it is also having an option for the DOI. So once you paste it, now you hit search. And it is going to scrap the internet and it is going to present to you the different articles that it has found out. So this is my article drug targets for coronavirus and uh, do one thing always that uh, whenever you are searching just after the results are done then you go back to the article and you check the title uh, I mean the exact title whether it is matching with the first uh, search hit or not so this is matching with the first search hit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit cite And next again, you can verify this by uh, checking the author and the year of publication, the article uh, title and the journal title. So next, after you have checked everything, so you can hit continue. And over here, it gives you an option for, you know, for um, modifying the citations a little bit. So it has got this DOI number, it has the database of this, and whether you want to put the URL of the article or not, and uh, the access date, when you have accessed the article and stuff like that. So I'm gonna change anything over here. I'm just gonna hit complete citation. And here you go, you have the citation the way you want it. So we had selected Harvard. So it is saying that inline, when you're giving the inline text, you are going to copy this. You're going to copy this inline text. Let's copy the whole inline, uh, the, what, whatever is inside the bracket. You copy it and you go back to the Word document. And where you want to put the inline text, you just put your cursor, uh, hit a space bar, and uh, you just hit control V or paste. So there you have it. You have the Harvard style referencing inline text. And next, what you need to do, and after you have done the inline referencing, you just hit, you just type in references and you hit enter. You go back and you copy your bibliography. So this is the long text form or the bibliography that you need to put in. So you copy this out, you go back to the Word document and you paste it. So it is as simple as that. So you can just hit up all the references that you need. You hit up all the references that you need and you copy them out and you paste them one by one onto your referencing page. So this was one of the uh, one of the ways by which you can reference uh, your articles from where you're getting the information. And if you want to change the style of referencing, there is an option for that. You can select over here and you have the different kinds of referencing style over here. And you can select it and you can uh, change the style of referencing. But again, you have to copy this out and paste it onto your uh, document for the citation. So this was a web-based method. So this is everything going on on a server and you need to copy paste everything. Next, the method that I'm going to tell you is a software-based method. So the software is called Mendeley. So what you need to do, you need to search for Mendeley into Google. And over here, the first option is going to give you, uh, what Google is going to give you is the download option for the Mendeley desktop version. So you hit that and you have the download option for Windows. If you have a Mac, you have this option. If you have a Linux, this option. So you're going to hit download and this is going to prompt you to download the uh, software. So I'm not gonna download it because I have already downloaded it and install it. And again, the installation process is very easy. It's like a normal installation process. After which, after you have installed, you need to open it up and create an account in Mendeley. And after that, it would be something like this.
All right. So after you have uh, made the account, uh, it would be something like this. Oh, I mean, all of these are going to be uh, blank because I have added all of these. So for uh, when, when you're using it for the first time, it is going to be blank over here and you need to fill in the information. So how are you going to fill it? Let's go back to PubMed. We're going to cite the same paper once again. So what are you going to do? You have this cite option over here. So you click it and first of all, the easy way is to copy paste again everything over here. You have the format, you can change the format from here and you can copy paste everything and that would be it. But what we are going to do, we are going to download this, um, this file in a format called .nbib. So I'm going to hit download and I'm going to download it on my desktop. So let's hit download and it has completed download. So after this, what you need to do, you need to go back to the Word document and let's say I want to uh, give the reference or the citation at the end after this slide. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put my cursor over here. I'm going to put my writing cursor and over here you have the references tab. So you're going to open the references tab and once you install Mendeley and one more thing you need to do in Mendeley is that you need to go to the tools and over here it is going to say install MS Word plugin. Okay, so I have already installed it. That is why it is saying uninstall. But in your case, if you're installing it for the first time, it is going to say install MS Word plugin. So you're going to click on that and it is going to uh, install the plugin, the referencing plugin onto your Microsoft Word. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do, we are going to take that .nbib file and put it onto Mendeley. So um, I'm going to say add and it is going to give me a prompt to put in that file. So I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to search for the file. So it, it is this file .nbib. I'm going to hit open and it is going to open this onto the current folder that you're in. So this is going to open the file and after that you're going to go back to your Word document and placing the cursor where you want to uh, put the citation or the references. Uh, what are you going to do? You are going to go up to the references tab and you're going to hit insert citation and over here you, you'll hit go to Mendeley and after that you have this uh, you, you, you need to select the citation that you need so uh, it is already selected because this is the last uh, this is the last file that I uploaded so you're going to select the file that you need and you're going to click on cite and you can see over here it has it has done the citation for us and next for the bibliography that we need so what are you going to do you're going to just put your cursor again where you want the bibliography to be I want it after this and you're going to hit insert bibliography from the references tab so it has inserted the bibliography and one cool thing about uh, using Mendeley is that you can modify the citation or modify the style of citation inside the Word document itself because right now it is American Psychology Association 7th edition. If I hit uh, the Harvard style, it is going to automatically change the citation for us. So this is a cool feature that Mendeley has. And uh, once you have it, once you have it, you can just put on the citations wherever you want and keep on increasing the citations in your document. So that was it for this video. And I hope you have learned something new. You have learned how to use the web-based method for citation and also how you can use Mendeley as a software-based method for citation. So if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, share with someone who would need to watch it. And until the next time.